Wildfires surging across the western U.S. are destroying land and structures, but there's also physical risk from the massive clouds of smoke that a new study is shedding light on. Ted Lindner takes a closer look at the possible dangers. Multiple large blazes continue decimating communities across the West. With California's Park Fire, one of the largest in the state's history, threatening to destroy thousands of structures as it charred through more than 373,000 acres across at least four northern counties as of Monday. We knew it was going to be bad. We just didn't know how bad it was going to be. Insurance companies in the Golden State have been dropping homeowners coverage as the risk of wildfires continues to grow. Ron Ward recently lost his before the park fire inched towards his property. He stayed behind to fight off the flames and save his home. Put in a a high-pressure fire pump and put up sprinklers all the way around our property. The pump that I was talking about got delivered the same time the fire started. In Colorado, meanwhile, (coughs) the Alexander Mountain Fire north of Boulder quickly spread to more than 300 acres as of Monday forcing evacuations. Anxious moments. Yes, for sure. Fires like these produce thick smoke that can travel for miles and bring air quality to dangerous levels. According to a new study out this week, breathing in small particles found in wildfire smoke may be worse for people's brain health than other types of air pollution. Officials at the Alzheimer's Association International Conference say the research suggests that wildfire smoke may even lead to an increased risk of dementia. With wildfire season lasting until the fall, health experts say those in affected areas should stay indoors when faced with poor air quality. Ted Lindner, Fox News.